Hey everyone, welcome to another AutoCAD Dynamic Blocks tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the simplest manhole block. I've seen many manhole blocks in my five years of experience, and I think that the best approach is to keep it simple. Less is more. This is the key of this tutorial. So the block we're gonna create looks like this. So we have this manhole that if we look in the properties, we have the basic properties, the diameter, the di outer diameter, which is basically considers the thickness of the wall, then the wall thickness, property so we can define it then the external diameter like the outer ring and then the concrete thickness which is what represents so it is fairly simple and also you will have an arrow that you can drag and drop as much as you like so you don't have a drop down that limits you on the options however if you stick to the end of this tutorial we can create something similar to the options without having to keep repeating like copy pasting and changing the diameters of circles and using the visibility option so stick towards the end so you can find out how we do it now without further ado let's begin We're gonna create a new drawing. Make sure your units are in meters because us civil engineers work in meters. Unless you know how to work out with the units in AutoCAD environments, then do it in millimeters. Feel free to do so, but you need to be careful of the import uh, settings. So we're gonna create three circles. The first circle will be for the inner diameter. And let's make it like 1.2 roughly. The second circle will be for the outer diameter, which represents the wall thickness. And let's hatch it. Now, the reason I do this way of hatch is therefore because I would like the circle to have some thickness. And the only way I can show that thickness is by hatching it. Because as you know, the circle line can, doesn't have a global width. Then we're going to have a third circle that will represent the concrete and casing. Now we're going to select all three and the hatch and then block now we're gonna name it circular manhole and then we're gonna select it right click block editor to create those properties we need to add some definition to it to do that we're gonna go to the block editor to the dimensional panel and we're gonna select the diameter constraint now autocad will prompt us to select the circle so i'm gonna select the first circle and I'm going to name it diameter. Be careful not to delete the equal or the other properties. So it needs to be like this diameter. Now, the second diameter constraint will be for the outer one. So I'm going to select that. Let's do it again. Circle. Circle. There we go. And this one, I'm going to call it wall diameter. And the Remember, it doesn't accept any spacing. That's why I'm doing the underscore. And then the last one will be the outer diameter. Let's call it outer. So now if I close the block editor and go back to the screen just to show you what I've created, you see we've got some grips that create the wall thickness. We've got this for the concrete. However, we don't want to do it through the grips because, you know, it can get messy. However, you can see in the properties panel in the custom that we have the settings here. So let's go back to the block editor so we can add some more definition. Now, the wall diameter will be the diameter plus the wall thickness that we are going to define. Now to do that, we're going to go to the block editor manage parameters manager we're going to click on it and this window should appear now in here you should see the definition dimensional constraints that you've created now we're going to create a new parameter by clicking this button and then we're going to call it wall thickness remember no spaces and the wall thickness we're going to set it at 100 mil so 0 0.1 and then we're going to have the concrete thickness which is distance from here to here so we'll create a new parameter and call it concrete thickness and let's add it as well 100 mil now the diameter is set so let's set it at 1.2 which is a typical manhole that you have for roads then the outer the wall diameter which is this here will be the diameter plus the wall thickness so that's what we're going to type so it will be diameter plus wall thickness and you can see it changed. So if I change the diameter to 1.5, you can see it maintains that 100 mil wall thickness. But let's change it back to 1.2. And then the outer diameter will be the 
wall diameter, which is the outer one, plus the concrete thickness. So let's type that in. So wall diameter plus concrete thickness. So now we've got everything set up. Now we're gonna polish it slightly. So I'm gonna select the outer and wall diameter. In the properties panel, I'm gonna turn the number of grips to zero. Then the diameter, I'm gonna turn the number of grips to one. So basically I want only one arrow to control. I don't want two. You can leave it at two, it's up to you. We will go to close block editor just to see what I've created. And now you can see that if I go 1.5, the wall thickness remains. And if I change the wall thickness to 0.3, for example, and then the concrete thickness, let's say to 0.3, you can see everything is controlled. And then if I make my manhole bigger, those dimensions remain the same. Like nothing has changed. The 0.3 remains the same, as you can see. It's just plays tricks on the eyes. If you, if you think like, oh, that is not for 0.3 is more. It's just the more you go out, the more it is. We can polish it a little bit further, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So let's go to block editor. Now manholes tend to increase every 75 mil or 150, depending. So if we go to Marshall's uh, product list in the technical data, you can see increases every 150 in this case. So because I don't wanna stick that this is only a concrete manhole, maybe we can use a PPIC. So what I'm gonna do is increase it every 75 mil. So I want the diameter to increase every 75 mil. So I'm gonna select it in the properties panel, in the value set, in the distant type, I'm gonna change it to increment. And the increment will be 0.075. Now the minimum, I can have it as 0.225. And then maximum, let's give it four meters. I think that should be enough. So if we get out, you can see that now the rate of change is less prone to error, if that makes sense. The last bit, and for me, that's where I would draw the line where less is more, is to go to block table in the block editor, dimensional block table. I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna one grip. And here, basically what we're gonna do is tell AutoCAD like, hey, use these properties and I have some predefined values I would like to use. So I'm gonna click on the add properties. I'm gonna add the diameter, the wall thickness and the concrete thickness. So if we use this as an example, the Marshall's uh, technical data, 900 is 70, 1050 is 80 and 1200 is 90. So let's do that. So 0.9 is 70 and concrete thickness, we're just gonna keep it as 50. And then the 1050 is 80. Concrete thickness again, 0 0.5. And then the 1200 is, let's say, 0 0.9 and then 50. If I go okay and close block editor, when I select my block, you can see, I can see this drop down arrow and you can see that we have the predefined values. And if I select the 1050, you can see how it changes. And you can see the wall thickness is 80, concrete thickness is 50, same with the 1200 here as well. So you see it changes to 90, then back to 900 to 70. So basically you can predefine these for yourself and you can view all of them here. You cannot change them, but you can just view all of them here instead of like doing the drop down for some reason. And so, yeah, if you like this type of tutorial and you would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any blocks that you'd like to share with the rest of us, just drop me an email. I'll leave my email in the description below. Now, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you loved it, hit the subscribe and notification button so you can stay updated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.